morning, guys. It's Amala coming at you from a tree stump in the city of London. And I've decided to film this video because I just wanted to watch the Barbie movie. And it is probably the wokest film of 2023. Let's talk about it. Guys, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe. I want as many people to find this channel as possible so you know what to do. Now, yes, I had to come to you from this park just to talk about the Barbie movie, which I just took time to see. I sat through it in its entirety, and I think it is the wokest film of 2023. Now, before we get into plot summary on this film, I want you guys to remember the original message of Barbie, that young girls and women can do anything that they want. Hey, girls. Barbie has thousands of different careers. She shows up in the world in a hundred different ways, and she's encouraging young girls to keep that mindset and always has encouraged that mindset within young women. By all reasonable markers, we would call the original Barbie a feminist, at least a first or second wave feminist. But there's been much debate about this film in particular. Amy Schumer said that the original take of this film was not going to be feminist enough. There's been much back and forth on this film. I actually, when I got asked the other day, like, is Barbie a feminist? I was like, well, She's actually like the level up from that. Because if you look at Barbie Land at the beginning, like yeah. the Barbies are on top and the Kens are yes. kind of disregarded. So I was like, well, that's not equal. No, right, <laughs> so right, right. whatever the opposite of misogynist is right, actually, right. Barbie's like, <laughs> so yeah. towards the end yeah. when yes. they balance yes. things out, then it might be feminist. Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach have written this version of Barbie that's now in theaters. I think in a lot of other hands, this a Barbie movie would remain surface level. But I knew Greta was going to have a lot to say and I knew she was going to kind of Trojan horse a lot of uh, big issues within a very fun world. Now let's talk about the plot. Spoiler alert. We start off in nice to each other. All the Kens are out doing their Ken things and they live in beautiful Barbie land. But one day, Barbie falls into somewhat of a crisis. She starts to think about death and despair, which is not to be had in Barbie land. And she recognizes that there's a problem right? So upon some investigation, Barbie finds out that whoever owns her in the real world is having these thoughts. And they're in some way through some portal between the Barbie land and the real world coming to affect her. And that's why she's thinking about death and despair and all of these horrific thoughts. And suddenly her feet move from that high heel position in this film. But Ken and Barbie split and go in different directions. Barbie sets out to find her owner, who's played by America Ferreira, who also has an ins sufferable, feminist, anti-capitalist daughter, and we'll get to that. And Ken goes around and discovers what the real world is like. He realizes that the real world is a patriarchy, that it is run by men, and he's so excited about this idea. Because back in Barbie land, he feels almost forgotten. People aren't looking at him, people aren't paying attention to him, so he has a brilliant thought. He's going to bring the patriarchy to Barbie land. So Ken splits from Barbie, he goes out on his way, he heads back to Barbie land. Meanwhile, Barbie gets in her own crisis. She goes to the Mattel executive headquarters and gets in some trouble there. But eventually, America Ferreira, who plays her owner and her insufferable daughter, end up saving Barbie. And they decide, we're going to go back to Barbie land ourselves. So the three of them head back to Barbie land. And when they arrive, they realize that Ken has turned Barbie land into a patriarchy. Now the Kens are running Barbie land. It's called the Kendom. And all the other Barbies that were living there before are now brainwashed by the idea of patriarchy. They're handing the men beers. They're acting subservient to them. They're doing whatever it is they ask. They've lost all of their intelligence. And Barbie is, of course, very upset about this. So they decide we need to fix Barbie land. They end up deprogramming a lot of the Barbies through these radical speeches about feminism and how hard it is to be a woman and how dumb and horrible men are. And they rise up again, pit the Kens against each other, and while the Kens are fighting, they restore Barbie land back to its matriarchal glory. <laughs> Now, at the very end of this film, Barbie decides, I don't know who I am anymore, but I want to discover who I am. And she wants to go back out into the real world. So that's how the movie ends. Barbie takes on the name Barbara and goes off into the real world to have an adventure. Now, as far as my review goes, I think first it's important to talk about the positives in this film because there were some positives. I think Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling did a great job in the respective roles of Barbie and Ken. They were very animated and fun. It was entertaining. They had very vivid emotions 
emotions. Ryan Gosling, uh, throughout multiple points in the movie, sings and dances. The cinematography and set design in this movie is absolutely beautiful. Whoever was responsible for that deserves a round of applause. The movie is truly a brilliant thing to behold if you're just looking at the set design. The costuming was also really fun and vivid and brilliant and you felt like when you were in Barbie land that you were actually there. Like it was truly a world of its own. I myself was not too entertained with the jokes or the comedic factor of this film but I will say the entire theater for the most part was full and everybody there was loving it. Cracking up, applauding, cheering. There was a lot of energy within the movie theater which is fun. Now let's talk about what I perceive to be negative about this film and I do have quite a long list. First of all you might think that a Barbie movie is something that you should take children to. Is this a kids movie or is it not a kids movie? It's mm. For, I, this is such like a thing people say when they do press for a movie. They're like, it's for everyone. But it was literally crafted to be for everyone. Like this, Greta said from the beginning, like this is a big party and everyone is invited. I would not recommend that. It is certainly not a film that I would show to my future children, whether they are boys or girls. The overall messaging of this film is not a healthy message for young people or really anybody. Plus, mixed in throughout the horrible messaging about patriarchy is a lot of sexual innuendo, a little bit of bad language as well. Now let's talk about the spooky patriarchy. It is a massive through line throughout this entire film. In fact, the word patriarchy is unironically mentioned in this movie more times than I could count. The entire plot of this film is contingent upon the belief that the real world is in fact a patriarchy, that men are constantly running and controlling things even though they're not that bright and they don't really have good character. Guys, I kid you not, there are multiple speeches. I mean, direct speeches in this film about how horrible it is to be a woman, all the different strifes that we go through, what it is to live under a patriarchy, how horrible and unintelligent and useless men are in the real world. Your entire life is garbage. It is unbelievable. And of course, they spin us the message that the world should in fact be a matriarchy like Barbie land where women run everything because you couldn't possibly have a centrist mindset that men and women complement each other, have different strengths and weaknesses, and in fact should coexist in a world where they both rule. I found myself many times during this film looking at the women and thinking, do they think women are dumb because that's truly how they presented them. The women in this film were ditzy, pathetic, lacked agency, or at least were trying to spin the idea that we lack agency. In fact, at one point in this film, America Ferreira says, quote, it is impossible to be a woman, end quote. Think about that. What was everyone's reaction to you saying that on set? And what was it like for you saying it? Like, I think it really landed with the crew too. Like I had a lot of crew members, men and women, approach me and they were like really um felt it sure yeah okay there's also a quote at the end of the film where one of the barbies says that in the future ken's will have as much power in barbie land as women have in the real world and this is supposed to be a haha -ha moment because women truly have no power in the real world and we're always stuck under the thumb of our oppressive patriarchal men that's a joke no no i, I get it yeah and of course, I must point out the irony of this being a feminist film while casting trans actresses to play women. Now let's move on from the women to the men in this film who are largely playing Kens or the executives in the real world. There is not a single quality man in this entire movie. They are ditzy, they are feminine beyond belief, and they lack good character and strong morals all across the board. But that's exactly what the movie wants you to think about real men. You get the men in the real world who are sexually harassing Barbie. One of them even assaults her as she steps into the real world of Los Angeles, California. You get the executives who are constantly belittling women while also being really unintelligent themselves. If this movie wants to leave you with any message, it is the message that men suck. He deserves it because she's Barbie and he's just Ken and he's totally fine with that forever. We should hate them and that we should live in a matriarchy. And I must mention the dynamic between men and women in this film. We all know that Barbie and Ken come together as a couple. For many of us, they were meant to be in love, this perfect pair of woman and man. In this movie, none of the Barbies are really in love with the Kens. In fact, the only point in this movie where Barbies actually show romantic affection towards their Kens is when they are brainwashed by the patriarchy. And just something that I thought was a funny note, this movie clearly hates capitalism, but also has 
within it. Very poorly done product placement for the 2024 Chevy Blazer. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. I mean, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I wonder how much money they made off of that within our capitalist system. But guys, I think you get the gist. I could go on and on about this film and all the different contradictions and all the different poor messaging. But I'll leave you with this. The film wants to let you know that it hates patriarchy. It hates men. It hates beauty standards. It hates capitalism. It hates Eurocentrism. And most of all, it hates Barbie and Mattel, the company responsible for the creation of Barbie, even though that's exactly what the film is meant to be about. As I said before, the audience in this theater really enjoyed the film. I was not with them on that one, and maybe it's because I'm sensitive to wokeness and super cynical, but to me, this movie just wasn't it. There could have been a much better storyline, a more appropriate storyline, for especially the young women in particular who are going to want to see this film. And overall, the messaging was a complete miss on what the actual world is like, at least through the lens that I'm looking at it. But I'm sure this film is going to make a lot of money. All the theaters that I looked at were completely sold out for many of the showtimes of this film. So many women in particular are talking about going to see it. Margot Robbie says this is going to be a billion dollar film, and I'm not sure that she's going to be wrong on that. If you went and watched the film, you let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. I think they've completely ruined what was the original message of Barbie, that women truly can do anything and that we're not in a patriarchal system being held down under the thumb of the white heterosexual man. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to get out of this park because people are staring at me while I'm filming this uh, and it's making me anxious. <laughs> Okay, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys. And comment down below. What are your thoughts on the movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it exactly what you expected? And that's about it. It's always encourage healthy debate in the comments. So duke it out, but do so respectfully. And I'll see you guys next time.